Garrett right around break even. No, that's, you're almost certain. Did I get the middle? Yeah. Michael picking up Garrett's lucky hand and raising it up. 12. Yeah. Oh. Just a call from Garrett hmm. with ace queen with a hand we'd normally see him three bet, but he's so deep now against Michael. <laughs> and I bet he wish he would have three bet. He flops top two. Do you have any fives? Okay. Do I have any fives? Yeah. I just want to look at them. Yeah. Are they all the same? It's like checked them? around. What? This one's the same as yours. Oh, okay. Half pot bet from Garrett. He will pick up a collar in Tiger, who has a club flush draw. Remember, card's a three. So Tiger now has a pair, but... That's not going to be any help against Garrett's okay. two pair. Wow. Garrett comes out with an overbet here. Interesting overbet. Basically, just trying to represent that he had missed clubs. Tiger using that time chip, and, you know, I, I almost feel like Tiger would have folded to a smaller bet, but this bet just feels so out of line that Tiger's saying, does Garrett have missed clubs here? But remember, Tiger has two clubs himself. Wow, he makes the call. What a uh, what an unbelievable bet by Garrett there, getting absolute maximum value 1.5 pop bets. And just to put that in perspective, $15,000 against Tiger, who makes a call with just a pair of threes. Unbelievable bet by Garrett. Quiet. Oh, here yeah. comes. Quiet. All the blood makes it quiet, too. I mean, I think Tiger would have folded... To a seven thousand dollar bet. When I lose big hands to keep the keep the chatter going. But Garrett having the wherewithal to understand his opponent well enough to know that if he puts out that weird kind of out of line looking bet, he's going to get Tiger thinking. And sure enough, Tiger paid it off. Unbelievable.